Some people hate you in this life, not because you did them wrong, but because you're not suffering the way they expect you to. So my darling, keep smiling. Always put a smile on your face, cause the more you smile, the die of heart attack. They cannot stand you. They cannot stand your grace. So always keep a smile. How did I manage to achieve this? Do we have traditional ovens in Dubai? I don't know. Just watch the video till the end to understand, to see for yourself if it is possible to achieve such a delicious smoked fish in okay guys this particular fish is actually called barracuda so normally to prepare ourselves for the month because <laughs> you know guys we just have one source of income so we prepare ourselves on time because they say proper preparation prevents poor performance and it also goes in french they say une bonne préparation prévient de mauvais résultats so if you prepare on time and you prepare very well stay focused you're surely going to achieve whatever you want to do so guys we buy our fresh fish from the uh, waterfront market i have the video down below so you can go down there and check just check the video i made when we went to shop at waterfront market the vegetable market fresh food stuff market okay guys so we get this fish i prepare it make sure i clean it very well i do the seasoning then we, sh we split it into two Part of it we keep in the fridge without smoking it just keep it fresh so when we want to eat maybe we want to do something like sauce and we don't want anything that is going to contain smoke in it we are going to use that one then the tail of it and the head guys you know this particular fish is not actually easy to eat the head but when you smoke it when you have it dried it's easier yes you can get what you want to get in it the enjoyment you know you know the feeling when you're eating something you really love okay guys so after keeping the one we want to keep to eat fresh i make sure i smoke the leftover guys watch till the end i repeat again watch till the end to see how i manage to smoke this beautiful fish you're seeing here you can see guys take a look it is so so delicious someone cannot even believe i managed to do this in dubai yes this one is a little bit burnt because i did it at night i don't want to continue again this afternoon or like i would have gone to add smoke on it but i think this is just perfect now i'm going to put it in the freezer yeah this one really got burnt but this other side of it is perfect and you can see like this i don't need to stress myself to go to african shop to get smoked fish no 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 this is just very okay for my family and i for sure we are going to enjoy the taste of smoked fish you know it's really not the same like there is the difference eating smoked fish and fresh fish direct or fried fish okay guys enjoy the video till the end i leave you to see how i managed to achieve this
beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel i am still that's your favorite girl martha aka gift aka mama bk and i am the one and only original mrs mayeke one if you're new on this channel do me want well to hit the red subscribe button thanks for joining the family don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so anytime I upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. And if you are my returning subscriber, thank you so very much for always standing by, for always being there to support this you girl. Guys, today's one is gonna be about... Today, we will be talking about relationship, love, marriage... What do you think? Hmm? Okay, guys. Like, what prompted me to talk about this is the fact that I have come to discover in life, people tend to discourage you more rather than encouraging you. Instead of them to push you ahead, it's either they hold you, you stay on the same spot with them, or if they realize you're going forward, you're succeeding. They'll tend to find a way to convince you so you can either go backward so you continue to suffer. But that's something I really do not understand. I don't know why. I don't know if I'm the only one experiencing it, if I'm the only one meeting people who are like that or it is just natural. I don't know. Please, if you're experiencing such, please tell me down below in the comment section. I want to understand. I want to know about this. If I'm the only one experiencing this, if I'm the only one meeting such people in my life. And again, some people naturally in life, they tend to hate you for being you. Because you've decided to be yourself. You've decided to be you. To use some of those natural talents, some of the natural gifts that God has given you, you've decided to explore them. They don't want it. They are not happy. Either because they love what you're doing, but they cannot do it. It's more than them. So, they tend to hate you. How is that possible? Is it good? You tend to hate someone because of his or her talent god given talent because it's more than you you hate them for nothing like what do you stand to gain what do you really stand to achieve and also there are some people who hate you because you're not suffering the way they expect you to suffer like maybe there is this situation that you were facing it was really challenging and maybe you tend to explain it to one or two friends you're calling them your friends but some of those people are not actually friends they are frenemies I don't know if someone understands what I'm saying frenemies but you think they are friends they are your enemies in disguise but what to do like what can one do it's either we all get to understand the fact that in life we cannot satisfy everybody we cannot please everyone so we we'll just try to do the little we can do as far as i'm happy i'm good to go i want you to be happy because maybe you're my friend maybe you're my frenemy in disguise maybe you're a sister you're a brother you know I want you to be happy but if I should find out it's like you don't actually care about my own happiness <laughs> haram haram I'll let you go I will take some steps backward I'll keep a distance for my own peace of mind for my own happiness life is too short you know to spend so much of one's time thinking stressing about somebody someone else carry your load let me carry my load now guys I really do think so to me whatever you're doing whoever you are wherever you are doing that which you know it's best for you it's good keep doing it 
But always remember, no matter the challenges you face, God is with you. God is there. He's just like, keep going, keep going, never give up. But if you give up, you're going to start from square one. If you keep pushing, you must surely go ahead. There must be a way, no matter how thin the road may be. There must be a way, there must be that light at the end of the tunnel. So, never give up. Never give up. Okay, guys. So, now talking about this, it takes me to... We have this... Um, we, we have this saying, I remember when we, I was still in secondary school. That was my our English teacher. I'm sure Kamlikum ex students, Kamlikum pioneers, GSS. We used to call it Ngamalikum. So GSS Ngamalikum pioneers. You remember Madame Anganga? She was our English teacher. She's still alive. She used to tell us proper preparation prevents poor performance. Then we have we had this our French teacher, um, Monsieur Yangni Leopold. He came and translated it to us in French, and it goes: "Une bonne préparation prévient de mauvais résultats." We used to say it before greeting whoever that enters the class. We were just saying it. Many of us, we didn't even understand what we were actually saying. We didn't understand. It's a lifetime lesson. Like, we used to repeat it every day. But the message, we were just saying it to please Madame Anganga and Monsieur Leopold. We didn't know they were helping us. They were telling us the reality of life. The reality of adulthood. When you get to an adult <laughs> Your brain, even if it was malfunctioning, it starts functioning properly. <laughs> oh my God. You don't want to miss out anything. You just want everything to be right. But back in those days, we were not okay. We were not thinking right. Failing to plan is as well like planning to fail. So whatever you're doing in life, if you've decided to give up when those challenges start coming, trust me, my dear, you go and start back from square zero zero. So, mentioning Dubai into our chat of today, if you're still in Africa and you're only postponing your trip to Dubai, your visit to Dubai, your, your trying opportunity in Dubai, you're still thinking right up till now. I encourage you today. Come to Dubai and start. Start struggling. You never know. The fact that I came and it took me almost a year to get a job doesn't mean it's going to take you a year or more to get a job. You might spend just a week or a couple of days and you're able to secure something way better than what some people are having, some people with the Dubai experience. How can you get that experience without you being here? If you want to get the Dubai experience, come here first, then start struggling to secure a job so you can have the Dubai experience because some people may discourage you. They might be like, it's hard for you to secure certain jobs because you don't have Dubai experience because they are going to demand for Dubai experience, but we all have different destinies. We were not created on the same day. Yes, the same God created both of us, but I was born on a different day, and you as well. So, why listen to negative words from people, negative advice? I really think if you cannot say something positive about my desire, about my wish, about my dreams. You better keep quiet. Keep quiet. Don't say anything at all. Just keep quiet. So I encourage you today. 
if you're still thinking, if you still have plans of traveling to the UAE to work, come now. Because your age, days are going. I repeat again, proper preparation prevents poor performance. Come on time and start ready. You might be in a situation and you think it's the end of you. You think God has forgotten you. You think you have been abandoned. The people of the world can actually abandon you. But trust me, guys, God can never abandon you. Wherever you find yourself now, he wants you to be there. Like, that is just the perfect place. That is the perfect position you're supposed to be now. If you try running more than your shadow, then it's either they are going to sing, Yonder, yonder, yonder. Very soon. So, one step at a time. And at the appointed time, God's own right time, you will be there. He knows your desires. He knows everything you want in life. You've been praying. And He has even promised us. He says, before we were formed in our mother's womb, he knew we were coming and he made sufficient provision for us. So why do you worry so much? Why do you cry? Like, why are you, you're literally mourning when no one is dead yet. You, nothing has happened, happened to you. You're in the right place at the right time. Just keep calm and keep pushing. God knows you're there and he wants you to be there as at now. He's taking you to another place, but just at the right time. He's preparing you for what he has in store for you in the future. Whether we like it or not, talking about marriage, the union of a man and a woman, whether we really like it or not, it is never a bed of roses. When the challenges start coming, it's either you learn to endure to face it or you give up. Giving up doesn't mean you're free because when you give up and maybe you're divorcing like you're counseling from a company, the new one you're going to discover or are you going to become a reverend sister or a priest, a reverend father? If not, thinking of choosing a new partner, what was the essence? Why couldn't you just persevere with the one you have? Because by the time you get the new one, it's either he will be worse or she will be worse than the person you have presently. And by the time you start regretting, it's either it is too late, your partner has either made up his or her mind, not to come back to you or to accept you back or the fact that you're looking at your friend and you're thinking theirs is perfect because it's always perfect when you are the opposite side when you're not in it it's always very good you always see everything good either there's too much money there's too much care there's too much attention everything is just too much but by the time you get in it, you come to discover, Abba, it is not what I thought of. It is completely different. So it's either you start learning to appreciate what you have, or you keep quiet. And again, if you don't have something positive to contribute in someone's marriage, especially, I don't want to talk about uh, boyfriend, girlfriend stuff. Keep quiet. Don't say anything. If you cannot say something positive, if you cannot either encourage the person to keep pushing, keep quiet. Because you may be harming your own self. As a partner, if you're making a mistake in that marriage, it is well, oh, because eh, as you make your bed, so shall you lie on it. If you fix and good, you go enjoy, you go sleep, you go open body. But if you live and jaga jaga, 
Now you go squeeze yourself for one end because space no go be for you. So guys, without wasting too much of your time, I'll be coming up again with another video about our Dubai because the government just passed new laws regarding um, harassment uh cross dressing i saw another law too uh regarding delay of salary yes for companies who always delay people's salary they, they maybe they pay after two to three months i saw things like that but i want to be sure you my audience you guys want me to talk about that before saying it so i'll just mention it at the end of this video now that if you want me to talk about cross-dressing as the new law that has been implemented in the uae i and also um delay of salary uh, salary late salary payment and as well cancellation like you moving from one company to another we all know it has not been easy some people have been facing difficulties with this cancelling from one company to another has been a very very big problem it has been a challenge to so many because some companies tend to really torment you they tend to maltreat you some of them don't even want to pay your benefits they want to squander your money so guys thanks for watching i love you all so very much see you guys for next time upload another video